Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, this is for the week of June 1st through the 8th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. I know there's been a gap in the readings here. I've had a lot going on, super busy, so let's just get right into it. Um, this is timeless, so it is meant for whenever you watch this. So if you catch this outside of the dates provided, just know that messages will still resonate. Your major arcana, the tower. I just did the Libra reading. They also got the tower. But oh my goodness, things feel like you feel like you've been battle wounded. You've been, oh gosh, five of cups, nine of wands. You feel a bit defeated here. You still manage to get up and keep things moving. However, you feel like every step forward just feels like it's crumbling. Like you're, I'm seeing, I'm hearing your legs feel like noodles that they're going to give out. So you may be feeling a bit weak at this time, feeling like you just don't have the energy, uh, the motivation, the drive to get up and keep on moving. There isn't, uh, there's a lack of consistency here. Uh, for you to continue to pursue your passions, your dreams, your success, your drive. I do feel like you have the the wishes, the goals, the dreams that you get. When you get really good on it, when you get laser focused, my goodness, you are so on it. You are so good at it. You're so successful. But the minute something starts to feel nerve wracking, feel like it's falling apart, it's almost like it just takes over the energy of that just takes over your whole body and you just can't see anything other than feeling defeated, other than a failure, other than um, imposter syndrome, feeling like you can't do great things, like you don't have it in you. It it even puts you at a point where you're just like, I don't understand. I know that I can do this, but why are there times where I feel like I can't? Like what triggers that? What causes that? I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for you to really dig deep within yourself to figure that part out. Is there a specific trigger? Has there been a common trigger to this where maybe you're second guessing your relationship maybe you're second guessing your home situation your home life maybe you're second guessing your finances your career um you know whether or not you are able to uh live a sustainable life for yourself king of pentacles right underneath the tower card the king of pentacles is you know pretty much p uh pre emperor energy right he's the energy that is closest to the emperor here where this is big boss vibes. This is, you know, making smart, sound investments, knowing money is coming, money is growing, uh, feeling successful, financially stable, having wonderful ideas, but amazing execution with it, right? He has the confidence to pursue his passions, to pursue his dreams. But what in the world triggers you from sustaining that energy there is something here that triggers you feeling like you can't get to this level and when you do get to this level and you have like this feeling the emotion the 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 sense of like I made it I find I'm, I'm getting closer I'm one step closer I feel so I can taste it and then there's this fear is it self-sabotage because I saw eight of swords when I said, and then there's this fear. Is it self-sabotage? Is this you holding yourself back? Are you fearful of the success? Are you fearful of being financially free and stable? For some of you, if you feel like you're dependent on a partner, I feel like, uh, or, you know, a parent, it, it, there's that feeling of uh, what happens if I don't have them to help me through this situation. You have two nines here, so you are at the end of this road. Sometimes things need to feel like, I just heard, things feel like they're caving in on you, like it's about to collapse on you, not even around you, but on you. So you might be feeling these uh, feelings of fear and anxiety, shortness of breath, heart palpitations, like 
real, real anxiety, you know, panic attacks, right? Um, the star card here is a reminder that there is hope on the horizon here, that there are better opportunities and better solutions that come from your own healing, right? And I'm hearing it feels as though um, there is either this disconnect with your healing where you're just like, well, I don't know how much more healing I need to do or what part of my life am I supposed to heal? Like I'm, I'm hearing someone say, I'm just not getting it. Like I, I don't understand. I think I've done it all, but then I still find myself in this position or it's the questioning of how much fucking more healing do I need to do, right? It's like it's never ending outpouring of emotions. And I'm hearing spirits say you've held on to so many emotions for so long that you don't realize how much of it you still have within you that you need to let go, that you need to release, that you need to grow through, that you need to go through, that you need to break free from. That five of cups energy is crying over spilled milk. It's it's if you stay in that energy, it is a detriment to you because you're it's like you're never letting go of what didn't work out. You're not seeing all the wonderful possibilities. And even when you do see the possibilities of something better on the other side of a bad situation or something that didn't work out, you're not realizing that it's not just about the two of cups, okay? It's the fact that not only can you turn around and pick up these two cups, but you've got so much more to look forward to on the horizon, and you get so hyper fixated on what isn't working out that you literally put yourself in this nightmarish energy of the nine of wands. When in reality, you need to be in this energy in the. If you ever listen to Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, it's like having those rampages, right? rampage of positive momentum of positive emotion of um you know whatever it is that you need motivation right when you get hyper focused on oh shit this didn't work out now thing nothing around me is working out and you go into the shame spiral you go into this like negative cycle of things are not working out for you when in reality you need to shift out of that it's not a miracle that's just gonna you know magic wand clear everything that's negative from your path but it definitely allows you to hold on to the positive momentum the positive energy that allows you to maybe dull the achiness the pain that pull yourself out of that negative spiral that you get caught in and just start having faith just start believing that everything is working out for you uh, I know that even if things feel like they're falling apart around me it's only for my betterment it's only because if it falls apart like this tower, it's because it wasn't on a firm foundation. But I know that I am strong enough to be resilient, that I can get up and turn around and pick up these two cups and that there is more for me in the future. It, it The success, the happiness, the joy is so clear to me. I can feel it. I can taste it. I know that I'm almost there. And I know that I have to be safe. I know that I have to feel like I'm okay to keep moving forward and that if my safety does not depend on anyone else. I need to provide that for myself so that I can continue healing and being open to the possibilities of abundance, the possibilities of success. It, it's, it changes the energy. It just shifts you out completely. And I know it's easier said than done, but it really is your mindset and clearing away the negative clutter that take that tends to trigger you and take over what is the outcome here six of pentacles and the four of cups so equal give and take this is also giving the feeling of knowing that you're you know dependent on something or someone financially and you're not seeing the results that you want to see in your business in your career in your finances where you can really um, have this the life that you want to sustain for yourself to create for yourself I heard you want to be an active participant an active partner here 
feeling unhappy when you get into these predicaments and feeling like, what have I done wrong? Again, the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups have similar energy. So you have to read the energy like this, like, you know, like I said earlier, like if you get stuck in like, why do I always land in these situations? How do I always get myself into these situations? It's more of like, I know that I've been here in the situation in the past and I know that this is only a lesson for me because I am learning to receive. I am learning that things are still working out for me regardless of a current situation that's happening or where I find myself in. I know that this is just an experience for the time being. I know it's not going to last forever. And I know I've worked through, you know, the era of my ways in the past that have helped me overcome these situations and I know that because I had it in me in the past to overcome these situations I know that I can continue to work forward regardless of the cards of the hand of everything that's happening here again it's having faith knowing that everything is working out in your favor knowing that things will work out in your favor but if you're consistently saying yeah I'm always I always put myself in a situation. I'm always in, ending up in these, you know, situations where I feel like they knock me down a few pegs. And then I, you know, I have a hard time climbing out of the hole I dug myself into. And there's a lot of self-sabotage energy here. Let me have a card for the nine of wands in the tower. What more? Can you clarify on this for Gemini? Five, I'm sorry, seven of wands. Seven of wands, standing for what you believe in. Standing your ground, especially if you have specific goals that you want to, you know, meet. And maybe it feels like the timing is off or maybe it feels like you cannot follow through on certain things. But the seven of wands is saying, stand up for yourself, stand up for what you believe in. That determination where if somebody tries to stop your growth, if somebody tries to sabotage you and your growth and the steps that you've taken, then it might be time to push back. What is this five of cups about? What is this sorrowful energy? What does Gemini need to release when it comes to this? And there's the five of wands, which is what I thought was there. And now you've got another five. Fives are about change. Sometimes unprecedented change, unexpected change, difficult, uncomfortable change. But the nine of wands is saying, regardless of how harsh this change may feel like it's coming through at this time you'll know that you will survive it you'll know that you'll keep moving forward seven of wands stand your ground know what you are worthy of what you believe in what you want to create for yourself because you can you can create the life of abundance the life of success for yourself of course you have it in you. You've already seen that you have the power within, that you have the ability to create these type of, you know, manifestations for yourself. And then somewhere along the way, it's like your legs get shaky or your hands get shaky. And then, you, you know, it's like sand, you know, pouring through, falling through your fingers. And you feel like that's how quickly you lose it. You're not able to sustain it. You're not able to hold it. I'm hearing that clearly. Doesn't mean it's true, but it, it feels like that's what you believe in, that that's what you believe, because that's been a habit that now you need to work on breaking free from. Uh, let's see what your angel message is here for Gemini. Child, so this could be inner child, this could be a child, um, childhood moments, this could be a child that maybe you were expecting are expecting are thinking of whether or not you can provide for your children or future children you have the card of child 
You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Specifically, your own inner child as well. I'm going to pull one more. Because I don't feel that is for everyone, but I do feel like that will resonate with someone here. Especially if you feel like maybe you're working two, three jobs, you're doing all the things and you don't have enough time for your children. I do feel like your spirit guides, guardian angels are saying, hey, we can help clear your schedule so that you can have that those, those important moments in their growth. And sometimes... Just that moment with your child where you really take a step back and you see all the wonder, all their curiosity, how beautiful they truly are. Sometimes that's all the light you need in your path. Heart chakra. So double on that heart chakra energy, that heart chakra message, right? Whew. That felt heavy as I was about to read it. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So take a moment, put your hands over your heart and ask your spirit guides, guardian angels, to help heal your heart if there are any open wounds at this time that need healing recent wounds wounds that are still energetically attached to your heart that maybe you haven't thought of i'm not saying you need to think of them but you'd like to release any and all blockages painful emotional energetic spiritual aches and pains to your heart chakra and tell yourself that you are worthy, that you are loved, that you are worthy of receiving love, giving love, receiving love, that you are not your heartache and that you're ready to release and heal it. So with the new moon in Gemini, your sign, June 6th, is the perfect opportunity for you to manifest healing, to manifest a new beginning, to manifest new chapter, to manifest courage, to manifest, um, you know, sense of security, a sense of a stronger sense of believing in yourself. Ask for the change that you so truly desire. This new moon in Gemini is saying you are ready for a change. You know you want it, but are you ready for the necessary changes? Remember what I said with the fives. Big changes are coming your way. It may feel uncomfortable. It may feel like a shock to your system. I mean, look at all that lightning. But the red and the pink that's there is giving very much root chakra, base chakra, grounding energy. But it's also a reminder of your heart chakra that you must pour onto yourself and heal. I'm just seeing so much heart healing energy here that will help you to stay grounded, not just get grounded, but stay grounded, grounded in who you are, your authenticity, what you want, your dreams, your wishes, your goals, your desires what you're trying to manifest for yourself, the life you want to create for yourself. If anything, you should be calling in the strength to hold your dreams and desires without any type of, you know, fleeting energy of fear that comes through that knocks you off your pedestal or knocks you off your, you know, your game that like feeling like I just when I was feeling safe and secure about it like shit hits the fan and now I can't see which way is up or down or left or right it's owning your own energy 
and knowing that you can stand strong and you can survive any storm, that you can weather any storm moving forward. That is your reading, Gemini. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. I do have a handful of reading avail reading appointments available in the link in the description box down below. I've got a lot of things coming up for myself that I'm working on this summer, so I may not have any more appointments after this month, possibly till August, September. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm, I'm going to try to fit at least one or two days in July. But July is going to be a very busy month for me. And so if you're not following me over on Instagram, definitely follow me over there. I am at Virgo Angel Tarot, where I post additional content and I let you guys know if and when I open up my appointment books again, when I've got appointments available, if I'll be anywhere in person doing readings, if you are local to me in California, in the LA area. Thanks once again. Remember to give this a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.